poverty. When will all the bad, bad dreams stop? Thank you for your dedications and hard work. By the Lord, my people in the law, I thank you all. But I now know that God is greater than everything on earth. Praise God. Pastor Henry, do you know what I find most commendable about you? You do all these exploits with such humility. That is indeed a shining example of a young man with a big vision. Pan the Lord, you know, even if I live a hundred years, it's not enough. It's not enough. But like Paul in the Bible, I now know I got a lot to do for God. There you go again. I told you there was nothing to atone for. The good Lord has taken care of everything. Pound the Lord, you better tell that in my head. I guess that the only bad thing I are dealing with, my weakness, my hair. I gotta deal with it. I guess you're right when you talk about the weakness, you know? Um, I've told you to put behind you that solid affair. We invited you here for a more pleasant discussion. Pastor James, can you please give him the good news? With much pleasure, Emmanuel. Pastor Henry, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church has decided to fund the sum total of your wedding, plus your honeymoon. Oh! Your swag, brah. Now be seen. Mama, now be. Oh, God in heaven. I now know you're my only father. I now know you are the God who provides for his own. Pan the Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Pan the Lord. The elders took that decision as a way of encouraging the young man. And I, being the closest relative of the bride, it is my duty. I'm so happy I can't even, I, I mean, I ain't know how to tell Susan the good news. I'm so happy. Pardon the Lord. To just leave the young man alone. Isn't it obvious that he's not meant for you? <laughs> Yet you went ahead and got pregnant for him. I've left him. He was the one that called me. Yes, like he did two months ago. <laughs> and you went, came back crying that you met a woman in his house and he beat you up. <laughs> I have told you, Sister Tina, let me deal with him once and for all. But you won't let me. Why? What is it with you and this marriage? Hmm? I don't get it. It's not as if you're that old. Why are you so desperate? 
it's easy for you to say. Yeah, you're a crusader, champion in women's crusade. You have everything at your back and call. You have Pastor Henry. He's a wise upright man. He has he's God fearing. <laughs> what do I have? I'm not getting any younger. Okay? Or do you want me to be old like my sister before if I get married? I've told you about my family. Like, uh, don't don't start with that generational costing. How many times will I tell you that we are prayed about it? Why can't you believe that it has been killed? But let me tell you, luck has nothing to do with it. If Henry, if I saw Henry ever tries to touch me, I will make sure that he regrets it. I don't let love blind me. <laughs> I know he said love is blind. But in your case, Sister Tina, it is not only blind. It is handicapped. It is deaf and dumb. So what do I do? What do I do? Look at me. I'm comfortable. I'm well educated. Why can't I get married? What? Is that enough reason for you to continue this abusive and sinful relationship you have going on with Brother Tim? He claims he's a pastor. And yet you have had two abortions for him. And now you're pregnant again. And all this for what? For love. Susan, I love him. No, 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 Sister Tina. Love does not ask you to mother. It doesn't hurt. It is obvious that a young man is in trouble. That that <laughs> who made him a pastor? Which church was he ordained a pastor? Isn't it obvious that Brother Tim has issues? That he has problems and that Papa needs to know about all these challenges no, that he's no, facing. No, no, please, please don't tell him. Please, please, you must tell him. Don't tell him, please. Even if you do, just don't say I told you. Come on, you know he's still on probation. This is what I don't get, Tina. How many times have I told you to allow me to deal with him? He has to be exposed for the fraud that he is. He has no business <laughs> parading himself as a pastor. Please. I trust you that I'm confiding in you. Please. I really don't know. But you have my word that I will not say anything to Papa for as long as you leave him alone. Okay. I'll leave him, but don't tell anyone. Please. Let me see if I understand what you just said. He lives in a house which you pay rent for. And he goes out, gets drunk, returns and battles you. And yesterday he returned, of course, drunk again, with a girl and asked that you vacate the room for them. And when you refused, he beat you up. Yes, he, he always beat me, beat me up. Jesus Christ. What took you this long? In this 21st century, things like this are no longer tolerated. I didn't know. Well, thank God you know now. So, what do you want done? Because the way I see it, you have two options. One, you can sue him for battery and claim damages. Or you can ask the court to put a restraining order he will not be able to come anywhere within a hundred meter from where you are without risking going to prison. I don't, I don't understand what you just said now. Um, okay, let me see if I can put it in plain language. You can sue him for damages and he will pay you money. And you ask the court not to allow him come a hundred meters from where you are. Because if he does that, he will go to prison. He doesn't have money. He was fired because of his drinking habit. He blames me for that too. I just want him to leave me and my child. Mm, okay. We'll file for custody of the child. Okay? But we will still... We will still... Hello? Stop crying. We will still 
ask the court to put a restraining order against him so that he will never come anywhere near you in future. So what they're going to do right now, just stop crying, okay? We will help you out. We'll help hey, you out. How much will it cost? I don't have much money. This is an NGO. It's a non-profit. We are not asking you to pay, okay? What we need from you is your particulars and some background check, <coughs> background information on this man. And we will take it from there. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank okay. you. So we'll start with you giving me your background information. I shall move my no robot! <laughs> I will move mountains. I will liberate the dead. I will liberate Hallelujah. Come. I thought you said you were going to stay with your mother. You are not going to come back here again. I didn't come to see you. So what did you come to do? What did you come to do? Because I know you would have gone to the public to ask your precious sister Susan. Your angelic sister Susan. But let me tell you something. You are missing out. Because you, the man you are seeing here is not a nobody. Yes, because you think I'm a sinner. The man you are seeing here is not a nobody. It's somebody with a calling. A man caught out for great things. And I tell you, you'll be there to see it happen. I only came to pick a few of my things in the house. Uh, come, 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 come. Another word of prophecy. Please, go back in there. Pack your things, including the pins and needles you have in this house. Pack everything out of this house in Jesus' name. In that case, you have to move out. Because I paid the rent, and everything in this flat is mine, including your pin. Hmm. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Tina insult me. Tina insult me. Insult me because you see me here today. But let me tell you something. This is a man God has called. This is a man God is going to use for great things. And I tell you. When I begin to move mountains, you will see my church. Tina, you will see my congregation. You will watch me on satellite. You will see God moving. I've never doubted you for once. If only you would repent and start walking in earnest. Yes. Meanwhile, congratulations in advance. Mr. Big Church, Big Satellite, Big Congregation. I only came here to pick my things so that I can go and stay with my mom for her to look after me and the baby. It's, it's not like I, I have not been able to, or I'm not capable of taking care of you and the baby. Just that things have just been a little bit rough. I see it that God is planning a great thing in my life. And when God begins to do things, I know God will provide all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And I know that God will not let me down. But pertaining to this child, I know that is the leading of the Holy Spirit that your mother should take care of you and the child for now. It's... Um, I trust God it's going to be well with me and do you have 1,000 Naira there? I need to use it urgently. I want to make an international call and... Hi. Tim. The big church. I don't have 1,000 naira. I have 500. Tina, check well. But you're a Christian. You don't need to lie. Check well. I only have 500 naira. I need it. Umunai. Me. A man of God. A man who carries God unction and anointing. A man who people are looking for to bless. I'm so exceeding in my life. 
I'm asking her for 1,000 Naira. Instead of her to rush and give it to me so that God will bless her, she's giving me 500 Naira. Your blessing has been cut into two, half. 500 Naira blessing, that's what God will give you. So, what can this one buy, 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 buy credit for somebody? Sweetheart, my love, guess what? What? I'm telling you, we got the most expensive honeymoon anywhere in the world, all paid for. That goes to tell you that the good Lord takes care of his own. You can say that again, mommy. What you want us go for the honeymoon, mommy? London will be nice. And you know Sandra has been asking that I visit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Sandra. By the way, let me ask you something. Is Sandra coming with us for the wedding? Well, she would have been here by now, but the schedule is too tight. So since the wedding is second week of next month, oh, yeah. she will be here with my ah. wedding dress oh, yeah. and her chimpressment dress. Mommy, yes. you swag bra. <laughs> I'm blessed. I know. I'm blessed, mommy. I'm favored, mommy. I got God's grace in me, mommy. <laughs> ah. By the way, how much you say the cake and uh, decoration is? Oh, I I was actually with Sister Tina yesterday, but we, we didn't talk about it. So it has, she was so disturbed. They still fighting. <laughs> what happening now, this time? Well, brother Tim says um, she's not the one for him. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> God is good. I know. Mommy? I say I give thanks for his wonderfulness. The Lord will say in everything we got to give God thanks. Mommy, I give thanks for Sister Tina and brother Tim. I give thanks. But, but sweetheart, you know, she promised to leave him. <laughs> but I've been hearing that. I have heard that several times. Mommy, can we talk about my sweetheart? <laughs> How you day be? Oh. You alright? <laughs> you see, this woman came in today. <sighs> she's not even a woman. So that she's barely 17. You needed to see how bad that she was. You see, the man that impregnated her, who is staying in a house that she is paying rent for, oh, yeah. she's, she's not even asking for any sort of support from him. He had the effrontery to bring in another woman and ask that she vacate the room for them. Yes, what, My sentiment exactly. So, we decided to take up our case. Mommy, that devil walk this. That real devil walk. But my law, the law books say, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but that good law delivered them from all. Amen. And he will be delivered. By the time this goes to court, he will be delivered of his foolishness. My law, I now know something and now know we are god own thing <laughs> mommy and i know why god make this up a pastor went a social crusader <laughs> mommy i give god thanks <laughs> i give god my my praises mommy i give god i uplift the name of the almighty god because mommy you are a gift, mommy. I bless the day I find you, my Lord. I bless the day I find you, my sweetheart. I love you, mommy. And you know what, my Lord? You look sweet and beautiful.
Afflictions of the righteous. My Lord, you are my strong tower. I run it into you, my Lord, and now I'll be delivered. My Lord, I'll now be bought for a price. My Lord, I come to your presence now for safety, for security, Lord. You are my strength, you are my refuge. Oh my God, help me. Deliver me from my past. Oh my God, I beg you. Come and take absolute control over my life. Get my past away from me. You see, anyone that is born in Jesus Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away, my God. I believe in your word, my God. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Amen. So, it's because most of us do not do eye service in church, nobody notices us. Nobody can even appreciate the so much we have put. Hey, that's it now. Because we do not do any service. But oh, watch and see. Oh, watch and see. Watch and see what the Lord will do. Because I am a man of great vision, a man that God has called out for a purpose, and God is going to use me to do my duty. Amen. Amen. And we have one of the biggest congregations in town. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Don't worry. But you know something, Brother Tim? I still feel within me that Pastor Harry is it's moving mountain for God. Mm. I still have this conviction within me. Is it Pastor Henry to move mountains? I mean, what am I moving? I'm moving rivers. Is that the problem? He has used his hypocrisy and his corner corner habits to get people like you. Yes! Pastor Henry is a hypocrite and that is what he is. We know, I know, if you do not know, I know why he's doing all this. He's doing this so that he can win Sister Susan's hands. Yes. He is doing it to win Sister Susan Sad. Knowing fully whether she's Papa's niece, of course, when Papa is not there, he will take over. Yes. And secondly, is her money. He's running after her money. Then, most of all, that guy has what they call Ochukokuru. Is her money he's looking for? But let me tell you something. Mark my words. Pastor Henry is conversing for favor amongst men, and I tell you that he is going to fall. I tell you, man of God, man of God, the very man I wanted to see. Now, man, how you doing, man? Man of God, me, me, me. I'm not happy. I'm not happy, man. I, I have this feeling that you did not take the leading from the Holy Spirit, because I was wondering. I mean, I thought I was supposed to be your best man. Ah, yeah, man, man. The thing my man is, I had chosen Pastor Francis. I'm sorry, my man. I'm really sorry from the bottom of my heart, my man. Well, it's okay. At least um, by his grace, I can be one of your groomsmen. I mean, I felt that ordinarily it should be us, us doing our things. You know, we pastors, you know, in church. Uh, uh, Tim, my man, I I'm really sorry. My groomsmen are already complete, my man. I'm sorry. Mm. Really sorry, my man. Oh no, it's okay. It's no, no problem. I'm really sorry. No problem. I, 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 I thank you for understanding. Ah, ah, no problem. God bless you. Mumunai. Sorry, my man. I can't put him, my man. He's sorry for me. I'm sorry for him. Not me. God, look at this idiot. Did he even believe that I was going to go for his wedding? Me. Me. Tim. A man with God's unction upon his life, with the so much anointing that God has put upon my life, I will go and play second fiddle. Brother Tim, you amazed me. I mean, you were not talking about best man before he came. 
I mean, you hadn't said anything about good about him. Does Only to be talking about best man. What well, is wrong do, with you? Do, does that matter? Does that matter? You, you, you don't have ambition. You don't dream at all. Keep sleeping. What matters is that Pastor Henry has all of a sudden and automatically beginning to feel that he is superior to us. Mm. Pastor Henry. Yes. Man of God. He walks around with this air of God. <laughs> Pastor Henry. And you people are looking at him. Pastor Henry. One boy. You want to be Papa's boy till you die. Me! I want to be Bishop. I have role models. If you do not know what you want, me, I have a dream. Are you sure you are being led by the Spirit? Oh! The Spirit of God is leading me and I can see it. If you are blind, I have eyes. Anyway, well, let's go for a prayer meeting. Come. I want to ask. This um, Friday um, prayer meetings and Bible studies, how come it is Pastor Henry that now has the uh, uh, entitlement to become the prayer leader? You have started again. No, 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 no. Does he ordinarily, I mean, ordinarily, does he have the unction that I have upon my life? No, let's be realistic. Does he have the word? Can he minister? Can he move mountains? No. But God knows. When God begins to use me, <laughs> hallelujah, they will see a man of God walking with the venom of God's fire Amen. spitting from his mouth. Another Moses of our time. They will see how God will use me to move mountains. Between the life of man and the made of God, God will see me. Susie, I don't understand myself again. Me and Tim were not working out. I've tried, but it's not working out. <gasps> Statina, isn't that what everybody has been trying to tell you? Tim, Tim has issues. He's, he's messed up. But I'm having this child. Satina, that was one mistake you made. And you know how it is, one sin leads to another. So what do you suggest I do? I suggest you stop this relationship with Tim and, and sort your life out, okay? Marriage is only good when we are both, you know, naturally and spiritually ready for it. Oh God, what would people say? What would Papa say? It's not what people say that matters. It's only what God says. Okay, if only you would give him a chance, he will sort out your life for me. Sort out my life. You don't understand, do you? Look at you, your life is so arranged. Mine is scattered. I, I don't even know my left to right. You don't know what it feels like, do you? I might not know how you feel, but God knows how you feel. If only you give him a chance to talk to him about it, he will sort your life out for you. Okay, talk to God about this. Okay, I'll take your advice and I'll seek God for guidance. I'll lift him. But this time around, we need Okay. It's not one of those promises you make me and you don't keep them. <laughs> now, check this out. Brother-in-law. Uh, does he know that he's supposed to come with you? Well, I don't think your sister is coming. <laughs> I'm going to find him all. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Um, they have 
lots of meeting at church with the other pastors. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Because of that, I'll forgive him. But then, if I don't see him in the next one, one hour or something, I'm going to find him. Jerry, what should we find him? I, I don't know your culture back here, but I think maybe some goats, you know, and... Yeah, some goats, like ten goats, right? Yeah, no, yeah. and a equivalent of two cows. Yes. Two cows. <laughs> on him. Two cows. I, I, on I, him. I'm going to have a very big party with On him, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jerry, don't, 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 don't try her. You know, that's a sign, yeah? <laughs> don't try her. That's a big party. <laughs> you know, she's a terrible thing. Oh, seriously, I'm... Um, He's going to meet us back at the house. And I forgot to tell you. Yeah, what's that? Mm. Uncle traveled to America. You um, kidding me? Yeah. And he, he didn't went, call me? Well, he went for some sort of um, seminar. Okay. You will be backed up six, six days. Wow. <laughs> and I prepared some meal for you guys. Really? What's it? Okay, I, I did um, mashed potatoes and um, mixed with some um, vegetable. And um, uh, I forgot to ask what you guys want to huh. eat with it. Ah, 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 ah. Come, 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 come. Eat now, nah, joke. You better stop her, mom. No, for real. I'm not finding that funny. You mean I've been away for the <laughs> for Lord, close to seven years and I'm coming back to this country. You want to give it that trash to eat me? Yeah. Potatoes yeah. and vegetables for what? Hey, come on, girl. Come on, baby. What have you, what have you been eating back there? No, but, like, but I've been eating that because I didn't have a choice now. <laughs> Gerald, I mean, you, you know Niger food costs a fortune. You are right. Then I'll come back to this country. can't give it that trash. <laughs> no, no, no. So no, what do you want? Aha, uh -huh. thank you very much for asking. Now that you've asked, thank you very much. I'll just have a very light meal of pounded yam or soup with some pomo, you know, with only shimmy she can with some good old oh, goat meat. Oh, 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 that's a meal. Yeah, that's a meal. Oh, oh, you know what? what I know the, the, the yam thing, the goat, but what's the other one? Oh, you mean the orishi wishy part of it? Yeah. Now that's pomo, that's pomo, you know. That's um like what <laughs> what, that, what what's that? The cow cow skin? The cow skin? Oh. You know, you sweet, sweet, come on now, so, so, you remember when mama used to be alive then, you know. No! <laughs> Don't tell me you came no, back here to no, no, eat. No, wait. I came out to eat. No, seriously, I came out to eat. Where are you going to have some fun? Girl, you better take me to the market. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What does the man need from me now? Pastor. Pastor. Man of God. Man of God, it's not fair. It's not fair the way you are treating me. You seem to have forgotten your, your days of little and humble beginnings. Tim, my man. Let me ask you this. Why you want to be groomsman? Mame, I've forgiven you, but I still remember how you swindled me of all the money I had that God gave me. See, Mame, you know you have a challenge when it comes to money and organizing things. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Tina. 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 So Tina has been slandering me behind my back, right? Mame, Tina need no slander you. Tina need not slander you at all. All one need to do is just meet you anyway. Anyway, my man, I'm in a hurry. I ain't going on with this talk again, tomorrow or next. My groom men are complete. I ain't intending adding more to it. Goodbye. Uh, um, 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 uh, uh, I don't, I don't know. Please, can you help me with 1,000 Naira, please? I, I, I need to recharge my phone and make an international call, please. Let me, le, let me see what I got. My man, but you don't need to tell a lie. Eh? Look, my man, you go get yourself a job. Get a job. Pastor Henry, is it because I asked you for common 1,000 Naira? Common 1,000 Naira that people give their children to throw in offering boxes that you are insulting me? Pastor Henry, you're a man of God, though. You're a man of God. That me, man. Only 500 bucks I got here. Uh, 
I will manage. My man, that's the magic word, my man. Manage, manage. Okay, man. Hmm. I'm sure she's okay. I mean, she's been asleep for close to four hours now. <laughs> A combination of jet lag plus the amount of pandayam she eats is be suspected. I guess you're right. I've never seen her eat so much. That must be Henry. Ah, mommy. Henry, you're here. Ah. I'm sorry, mommy. I gotta change my Yes. You look sweet. You look beautiful. Thank you. So how was it? You swap her. Mommy, the grace of God kept me there. Even with that, I can't really say I participated in the meeting, Mommy. Can't just tell you. Huh? See you. We have here. Mommy? You, Mr. Gerard? Yes. Alright. Nice meeting you, Mommy. Thank you. So I guess what um, Sandra prepared for us, she went shopping and she prepared okra and pangeriam. I hope you will eat that. Okay. You swap, bra. Mami, I'm hungry, mami. Mami, I'm hungry, old lady. There's also snacks they serve us at the meeting, mami. Good. So make yourself comfortable. Yeah, mami. You get your food. I can't wait, mami. <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Jera. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, why not drop the Mr. Thing a bit? It's too formal. It's all right, mame. It's all right, mame. So, mame, how you first day in Nigeria be, mame? Well, I wouldn't say a typical African state. Hey, yeah, mame. Like every other African country I've visited, either in the heat of civil war. I understand you're from Liberia. Hey, yeah, mame. I'm a damn refugee in Nigeria, my man. You know, I, there's some... Hey, babes. Hi, honey. <laughs> You're up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was your sleep. Hey, who's here? Uh, Henry. Hi, Meet Sandra. Hi, my man. Sandra? How is it? What's your problem, Mami? Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Doctor, is she going to be all right? Yes. She... I don't know what must have caused her such aggravation to have made her pass out. I'm equally mystified. You, you see, she just came into the country earlier today. Well, she's sleeping now. I gave her some sedatives to make, enable her sleep throughout the night. I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Dr. Yemesi. All right. Doctor. She's fine. She's presently sleeping now and hopefully will till tomorrow morning. But, but do doctor, hope she's gonna be okay. Yes, she will. Um, I guess she has some kind of post-traumatic stress, but she's as fit as a fiddle now. Oh, doctor, she gotta be okay. Yes, she will. Give God thanks, doctor. Yes. Uh, I'll see her tomorrow morning. Okay, doctor. Yes. Uh, Jeremiah, doctor? Uh. Let me drop doctor off at home. I'll come back later, mommy. Okay, okay. I'll take care. A bag of corn we don't even have. We barely have enough to eat. We are poor missionaries. Please Amen. spare our lives. Amen. 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 What is it? What is it? Talk to me. What? What is it? He's the one. Who is the one? Hmm? The man in the sitting room. He's the one. No, no, but, but that's only Gerard and Henry. Come 
not know it says no it hit me. He's made you overheat in Liberia. No, 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 no. No, that's, that is Henry. No, he's the one that killed mom and dad. He's overheat. He's the one. Yeah. What you need? Uh, Major, I'm I'm here to interview you about the war. My man, I say what you need. That the problem with you damn journalists are asking you or saying something different. What you need? Sorry, uh, Major, I'm I'm Gerard Hillary of uh, the Eastern African Network. My man, Jira, you, you all know why you came to Devil Camp and I can't allow you go out of Devil Camp alive? Because I want this interview. Because I want the world here, our own part of the damn story, the world have been misleading. I want them here. You got me right? Yes, Major. I'm major over here at the voice of the people. What I look so familiar to me. Yes, yes. What? He's major over here. Stop! Stop! Jenna, just stop it! Don't! My family connection, that's Henry! What are your people talking about? No, 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 no! That is Henry! That is the man I am going to marry in 10 days! No, 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 no! That's his man! He's not the one! He's not! But why, my man? I can't understand why you're stopping me from seeing her. She said she doesn't want to see anyone. Jira, my man, I'm not anyone. I'm not no one. Please, Please Henry. I got to see her, my man. Try and understand. Please. I can't understand why you're stopping me from seeing her. I, I can't understand. Please be patient, Pastor Henry. Let me go in and see her. I'll sort things out. All right, mommy. Please, Doctor. going on here? Gerald, could you please 
go outside and tell him that he should leave. Uh, because if I go out there, I might do something that I will regret. Come on, Sister Susan, that is rather unfair. Unfair? Unfair to who? That murderer? Who should be hanged? What? What exactly is the problem here? Uh, doctor, I... I'm sorry, you have to excuse her behavior. You see, Henry is responsible for the death of their parents. What? What are you talking about? It's a long story. But first, Susan, you have to go and see him. I have nothing to say to that murderer. Nothing. But we can't leave him out there. That is true. I should call the police. I wonder why it took me this long to know this. I will call the police. No, that is not the solution. Just go and see him and have it out with him. Have it out with him? Yes. Have it out with him. I will talk to him. No, that, that's not what I mean. I am going to talk to him. Honestly, huh? May the devil take you and your money. So that is who you are. Susan. You don't know me. Because I am going to make sure that you regret the day we were born. My lord, you gotta listen. Just get out of my house. Susan. Get the hell out of my house! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my love. You don't want to leave. Fine. Don't leave. No problem. Susan. No problem. No, don't stop me! Susan. Susan, my love, I'm sorry. My love, I, I'm sorry, I beg you, we gotta talk. It ain't easy on me. It's not easy on me at all, we gotta talk, my love. For God's sake, I beg you. It ain't easy on me, my man. It's not easy. Are you still here? You're still here, come! You're here, come! I will show you, I will show you. Look, I didn't have money and besides I was trusting God that he was going to use it to get yeah, something. Trusting God. You don't always have money. Not a virtuous woman. It's not industrious at all, and she calls herself the wife of a pastor. She wants to be mama. How can she be mama? My woman under his spell, I can't understand. Pastor Henry, I think we need to talk. Doctor, we gotta talk. We I can't to... understand what happened with my woman. We need to talk, let's go. Okay. 
Pastor Henry. Yes, Doctor. I want to ask you a question. Yes, Doctor. I want you to tell me the truth. Of course, Doctor. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna lie. Good. It is important I hear the truth. Doctor, what is it? Are you major over here? I'll be damned. I, 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 I hate that goddamn name. Doctor, I used to be known by that name. That was there. How about there? I can explain it. I'm listening. At the beginning of the whole problem of the war, you got to be a man to have a nickname to exist. Mommy, we soldiers of the patriotic Liberia Armed Forces took all sort of goddamn names. My name was Major Overheat. That was them, Mommy. Then I used to have a damn, goddamn nasty temper. But that was there. Mommy, what your problem? That was there. Now, Mommy, I'm a new man. I'm a new man. I'm a new man in the Lord. I'm a new man in the Lord's army. I'm a new man in the Lord's bosom. I'm a new man in Christ. What that got to do with Susan behavior? Jesus. This is really complicated. What the damn complication about it, mommy? I told you girl, oh, I got the damn name. What the damn complication all about? Sandra says you killed both her parents. You swat, bruh. God. What's the meaning of all this? Sandra says you and your group attacked and killed their parents. Are you denying it? Mommy, I'm not denying it. Mommy, you, you don't understand, Mommy. We got something working in us, Mommy. Mommy, we were high. We stay high, we live high. We mean, we did all sort of goddamn thing, Mommy. I cannot say I'm innocent about it, mommy. I cannot say it. Well, Brother Henry, you had better think of what to do. I have never seen Susan like that. Mommy, mommy, you got to help me. Mommy, the whole world is on my head. Mommy, I'm dying. Mommy, I'm dying. The whole world is on my head. Mommy, you got to help me, mommy. Oh, you swag, bro. I'll be dead. I'll be damned. <laughs> Susie, I'm sorry I'm late, okay? I'm oh, hi. I'm Tina. Sandra, right? Uh, um, you. This is John. Hi. Nice meeting you. Like I was telling you, Tim showed up. Guess what? What's going on? What's happening? Huh? Did someone die? We were supposed to go shopping today, right? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to call you. Sorry, I'm late now. Hmm? Like I was telling you, Tim showed up and made up. Uh, I know you're gonna look down on me, but he promised to change. Really? He's gonna change now. Please, really? I'm not in the mood for that. What is it? What is going on? Besides, we're late for the market, so get up now. Like I was saying, I forgot to call you. The shopping has been suspended. Indefinitely. 
I don't understand. It's ten days to your wedding. Excuse me. The wedding has been cancelled. What? Hey! What happened? Jesus Christ. I will never, never get married to a deceiver. That is what Henry is. A deceiver. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. What happened? Cheer up, my man. You gotta talk to her. I gotta talk to my woman. She not picking my call. I call her, she not picking my call, my man. You gotta talk to her. I gotta talk to Susan. She says she won't see you. She doesn't want to talk to you. My man, I beg you in God's name. You can't do it for me, my man. You gotta do it for me. Come on, Harry. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? Look, Harry, I hate this situation as much as you do, but you got to respect their wishes. <sighs> all right, all right, my man, all right, my man. I just want you to tell her that I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry from the bottom of my heart. Now, but here. I know it's not easy for her to understand. I know it got so hard for her to understand, but my man, you got to talk to her. Okay, Henry, I've heard you. I will deliver your message. All right, my man. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here. I'll get my feet here. What are you doing here? What you want me to do? Look, give them some few days. You got to give them some few days to sort things out between themselves, Henry. Gerard, my man, I'll be there. I got to talk to Susan. I got to talk to my wife. I got to talk to my woman. I, I be Henry, this I, is I'm not the best time. My man, what you want me to do? I'm not going anywhere. I got to be here. Don't look at you. You're already looking worn out. Henry. You need to go home and take some rest. Go home and take some rest. What you mean rest? I ask you what you mean rest? The past five days and not be easy with me. I can't eat, I can't sleep, I, I can't rest. You gotta make her understand. You gotta talk to her. Oh, the swag bro. What kind of problem are you into? Look, Henry. Not eating, not dressing, would definitely make no difference. You've got to be a man. Be strong. Henry, go home and eat and rest. Clean yourself up. I promise you, things will sort itself out naturally. Just go home. I thought you said you were a Christian. Oh. Yes, what, brah? I must stop this. Be for a donor. My God, give me strength to fight. My God, I stay upon your word that say that many are the afflictions of the righteous and they shall deliver me, Lord. My God, my God, I need my woman. My God, I need Susan. My God, help me, my God. My God, you are my only strength. My God, you won't say the righteous run into you and they are safe. My God, I stand only upon your word, my God. In your swag, bro. What, what God? How's it going? <sighs> it's quite unfortunate. He, he won't go. Why won't he leave? Why won't he leave? Hasn't he done enough damage already? He has, he has better go and leave us alone. He has better not think that he, he will get to me. Because I will use my connection to make sure that he's tried for mother. Susan, why not go talk to him? Nothing to say to that murderer. I feel nothing but hatred and repulsion for him. If I go out there, I will. I will. I will. I care. Somebody just needs to let this guy know that he needs to go. He really needs to go. Can we go and talk to him? 
Are you sure you could handle this? I have to get this over with once and for all. Hey, wait, hold on. Susan. Susan. I want you to understand what happened during the war. Susan. I want you to understand what happened to me. I got high on drug, liquor, weed. I got high on anything that can get me flipped. How does that change the fact that you are a cold-blooded killer? Henry, you killed my mother and father. What? Couldn't you have just shoot them? Yet you, 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 you have to, you have to butcher them like they were some animal. What kind of a monster are you? What kind of a monster does that to another living human being? Yet you stand here telling me what? Susan, that nothing changed. But Susan, you know I love you, Susan. You know. Get you behind me, Satan. Oh! My woman, you now call me Satan? I'll be damned. <laughs> Is there a word? Is there an adjective to describe what you are? Harry, is there a word to best describe what you are? Susan. Susan. <laughs> is there a word, Harry? Is there a word? I beg you. I beg you in God's name. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you in Henry. God's name. Oh, Henry. Henry, you know me. You know me. And you know how I fight the cause for women. Like that. It's business. But this, this is personal. I am going to make sure. I am going to make sure that you regret every pain, every misery that you have caused. Oh, I will not put it Oh God. I don't ever want to see your face again. Oh God. I can't believe what's happening to me. See that? I'll be damned your life. If the man goes out for days, comes back, and the woman in his life doesn't even bother to ask him where he's been. Where have you been? Well, I went, I traveled to transact some business with my foreign partners. So since you didn't bother to ask me, let me ask you, so how are you? I'm fine. Too. Eh? Did you take my... 20,000 naira for my drawer and my 2,000 naira in my bag. Eh? Money? Okay, money. Eh, eh, yes. I, 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 I took the money, I used it to make a new suit. You know I'm one of um, Pastor Henry's, in fact, I'm his best man. That's not possible. What do you mean that's not possible? I, I said I borrowed the money, I, I'm... I'll pay you back. So what is it? That is what you always say. You've not changed. Eh? Look, Tina. I only just took a little loan from you. And I said I'm going to pay back. Ah! For crying out loud. Why all this embarrassment? Look, when God begins to open the floodgates of heaven to bless me, He will see. Then you'll not be able to talk to me like this. I mean, when you see me in my homer jeep, will you talk to me like this? Maybe if you, really, if you get a decent job, I mean, it will really help. Tina, what's that supposed to mean? Just what is that supposed to mean? 
Tim, please go. I don't have your time. I don't have your time and your so many wishful talks right now. Please. Oh, oh. So, I'm upsetting you, right? Yes, I'm upset. I am very, very upset. Bro, Henry and Sister Susan has just called off the wedding. They had a big fight and they called off the wedding. You said? Yes. Hey! You said they did what? They called off the wedding. Blood of Jesus. I said it. Tina. Have you seen it? I always told you. You see, the end of the weekend is always like that. I said it. Mm. Pastor Henry, good man, holier than thou. Hey, Pastor Henry. Mm. God. I said, God, you will never let me down. Oh, Abba Father. God, you will never let me down. Thank you, Lord, for vindicating me. Yes, at least. You see, the handwork of the. What did you say happened? Tell me what happened. How am I supposed to know? It's none of my business. She just told me the wedding has been called off. Hey! And that Pastor Henry has been moving about like a madman. I shouldn't be sitting down here. Let me go and hear. My eyes are seeing, my ears will hear. I will. This one, I will. I will hear all this now. I will. Uh, I, I said it. I said it. Peace be upon this house. Ah, good day, sir. Good day. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Good day. I, I, I am, I am bro, sorry, Pastor Tim, one of the vibrant pastors in Susan's church. And by God's grace, God has been using me to do mighty things. Um, I'm sure one of these days, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, we'll be able to hook up sometime so that I, I could take you around town and show you one or two places that God will be um, inspiring you and leading you to sow seeds in time of harvest like this, you know, you need the hand of God. I'm sure there are. What did you call your name again? Oh, Tim. Oh, Timothy Samuel. Pastor Timothy Samuel. A man of God, a true child of God, born again, Christian spirit filled, doing great things. Are you the most high God? Yes, yes. Uh, you said you want to see Miss Susan. Yes. Uh, Susan and I have been very, very great friends, I and mean, Susan is a true friend of mine. In fact, you know how it is in church, brother and sister getting very close. At one time, people were beginning to say that, um, you know, that we were becoming an item in church. Uh, Mr. Timothy, um, you might have had some kind of social interaction with Miss Susan in the past, but I'm, uh, I'm afraid she's not available at the moment. She's asleep. Oh, no, 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 no problem. Just tell her it's Pastor Timothy Samuel. No, uh, I'm sorry. She really, really needs the rest. Blood of Jesus. But then, uh, uh, if you... Mister, please, try and understand. Okay, okay. Uh, is it true that um, she has finally broken her engagement with um, uh, Pastor Henry? And how is that your business? No, 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 no. Ah, don't misunderstand me. What I'm trying to say is, you see, being a man of God, a man that has lived his life totally and dedicatedly serving God, I had always seen it that that man, Pastor Henry, I'm sure you really do not know him, that man is a very fraudulent person. You know, Sister Susan is somebody that needs a man like me by her side, a man with a vision, a man with a calling, somebody that God has appointed for her. You see, Sister Susan is uh, a very Pastor tender Timothy, person and... I'm afraid you are overstaying your welcome. Please, you may leave now. Who would I? I didn't... Excuse me. <laughs> mm. 
Did I say anything wrong now? God knows. I said my mind. The truth that God has led me to say, I will say it. God knows my heart is clean. I am glad this is not good. Yes, he has gone. He has this disgusting character. I think Henry has my tail problem. Susan. I do not think what you are doing is right. Excuse me? I mean, you cannot continue like this. How can you say that after what Henry did to Sandra? I thought you said you love my sister. Of course I love your sister. I love Sandra dearly. I feel bad as well. But that is definitely not the best way to handle the situation. And how is the best way exactly to handle the situation, Gerald? <sighs> Gerald, please. Gerald, this is a family matter. Stay out of it. Does that justify you castigating the young man without even hearing from him? Stay out of this, Gerald. Please. What exactly do you expect him to say? Other than the usual excuse that people give when they willfully commit atrocity. Blame it on the devil. Before acknowledging our first timers, there is an August visitor here. Her family have been dedicated servants of God till they went to be with the Lord. One of their daughters has continued fellowshipping with us. You are not Sister Susan. Her sister, who has been abroad for the past seven years, is here today. With your friends, please join me in welcoming Sister Sandra Roberts. Thank you very much. 
much. Um, I want to say good afternoon to our senior pastor and all the pastors, the bishops, the, the reverends, even the choir, the ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. It's so good to be back after seven years. I really thank God that um, I'm still a lot of people I, I, I know from way back. Thank you so much for this rare privilege. Thank you. Um, I just want to crave your indulgence to take a little bit of time um, to also use this opportunity to um, thank God and introduce my friends to you, <laughs> Gerald. Um, let me also use the opportunity to tell everybody here to tell you a little story. A lot of us in this church know that my parents, Evangelist and Mrs. Roberts, went to Liberia and never came back. But a lot of us do not really know what happened to them. So I want to take this opportunity for you to please give me a little time to tell you exactly what happened in Liberia. It all started on the 17th of November, 1989. The press then has declared the state of the United States a country. He promises a normal civil return in shortest possible time. He aware of the lies that the militias do not have control of the Bank County region, and the militia leader has denied any act of genocide taking place. All foreign embassies have started evacuating their citizens. From Liberia, it's been Shara Robert reporting. There's been an outcry over the recent killing of seven Catholic nuns in Bon County Mission Home. The president has expressed his dismay and calls on the international communities to step in. The Vatican City this has issued a statement calling on the government Everybody to have the perpetrators of the act brought to justice. Both the government troop and the militia have accused each other of being responsible. From Liberia, it's been Jonalisa Jones. He's mediating dishonors. Imagine 300 king single up and people finish. People finish. You know what? I have my own reservation. I think we are looking at a full blown war here. Jesus. That means Susan has to stay back in Nigeria for next week. Yes, she has to. She has to. Mama, you people will have to go back to Nigeria to meet her. It's safer there. You will have to leave immediately to Nigeria. Pa, what about you? No, I'm a missionary. I have to stay back here, mix up with the local churches and see what we can do. You have to go back to Nigeria. Oh man, the war going on. I want you to be killed. You must not be involved. Mama, this is a war. Situation. There's going to be war, and you know very well that it is not going to be safe here. You have to go back to Nigeria. Of course, you know it's safer there. Look, Sandra will go and join her sister. Mm. I'm staying right here with you. This is my country. If you stay, I stay. Hey. Man, it might be your country, but in what situation they don't know no citizen or stranger? No, no oh man, it's it too man dangerous. Man. You could get killed. Things degenerated, borders were closed, and a 24-hour coffee was imposed on the country. There was great terror in the land. The militia began to go from house to house, demanding and confiscating whatever they laid their hands on. You all fuck up, people. You got me? You all damn fuck up, people. What you got? <laughs> you now know why I say you all fuck up people? Oh, so yeah, you're hiding all the good things you got, right? We are missionaries. We don't have no valuables. Your people have come here before and they know we are poor. We hardly have enough to eat. Close you dead more. Close you damn dead more. You're the garbage that that chocolate the people mind in the name of God. 
the worst that the damn, the damn politician that put on the line. The red boss, man. You correct? You know me? <laughs> I the popular and famous major over here. You know why the damn people call me major over here? No, sir. <laughs> they know. Because when I ain't get what I want, that the time I get over here, I'm born as is. You get me? Now, when you all get all the damn values, you have the name of the people, the racial army or Liberia. Like I told you before, we don't have anything. We don't have, we don't, we don't have, we don't even corn. We don't have food to eat. We don't have money. We are just poor missionaries. We don't have anything. <laughs> the people already have come before and they know. Oh, yeah? Don't you take him out. Mame? Yeah, boss man. Mame? Yeah, boss man. man. We ain't got food. We ain't got money. We ain't got that. Boss man, they lying. You can't understand me, right? Hmm? You can't understand me. You can't understand me. I can't ah! you. Ah! Come on, man. Leave my father alone. You, you was that the, that the military you? In the name of of the republic, you you you're supposed to be happy people. You brutes. Mame? Boss man. Boss man, are you the talking to her? Mame? Are you the talking to boss man? Mame? Yeah, boss man. We all got a wild kid, mame. Every wild kid, boss mame, man. Mame, we all got fresh meat, mame. Damn it, it's too fresh. Oh yeah. Every yeah, boss man. Yeah. Oh, oh you the virgin that no man touched up before, mame? Huh? You son of a bitch! You brute! You're worse than a robber! Please, please, oh, yes? leave her in the name of God. Please, oh, God, oh, God. please! 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 Oh, God. 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 Please! Shut your dirty mouth, please. My man? Yeah, boss man. I want you to take all the all outside. Oh, they got oh. something they are hiding, my man. Exactly. I want you to take them out. What you got doing? You can't go far. Hey. You let them let go. Let's 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 go. Churches and mosques were not left out. People were raped, robbed with impunity. Amongst the militia, the People's Revolutionary Army, PRA was the strongest and most notorious. The members were ruthless. They took over one rural area after the other as they made their way into the capital, raiding house after house, claiming they were commandeering it in the name of the revolution. They spared families they got valuables from, but homes like ours that had nothing were battered. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 
with the Lord. Ask you the last time where you go, where you're general or you're valuable. A bag of corn we don't even have. We barely have enough to eat. We are poor missionaries. Please spare our lives. Amen. Get it. Amen. Get it. Amen. Get it. Get it. Please. I don't want anyone to talk to one care. I got a play with her, JJ. Okay, okay, Jesus. You got the best. in our own case, and my parents were killed. Major Overheat insisted that I had too much fire in me that had to be doused. Oh, lady. Ooh. Oh. They left me when I passed out, presumed dead. Ah. Oh. I woke up and found myself naked in the midst of dead bodies. I don't know where I got the energy from, but I was able to strip a body and wear her dress and started off trying to make my way to the capital.
was how I met Miriam, another Liberian girl who was leading a small pack of refugees, also trying to make her way to the capital. It's just a little water. I give the children. Let's just give it to them. I became closer as she showed me how to survive. We lost the baby. We lost baby destiny that day. I guess she just could not handle a diet of lizards, roots and berries like Miriam and I. Miriam said it was better for her that she died. But it didn't make it easier to bear. We buried baby destiny in the woods and moved on. That was how we got rescued by the Ecomog soldiers. 
I lost contact with Miriam as we fled the country. I later left for the United States and have never returned to either Liberia or Nigeria till now. But to my distraught, after thinking that I have put this whole episode behind me, my supposed happy journey has turned to a sad one. Because major overheat. Ladies and gentlemen, as I talk to you, sits in this congregation. Yes. In fact, as I talk to you, Major Overheat, who has been pretending to be a man of God and a pastor in this church, heads for the door. Today is your day of judgment, Major Overheat. Judgment starts from the house of God. I heard he has been arrested and detained. Yep. But I still don't get it. What is the charge? I mean, Henry has not committed any crime in this country. Uh, Gerald, does that make him less a criminal? How did he come in? I mean, what is the story? Yeah, whatever, man. For all I care, he changed his identity and fled Liberia or something. Oh, Susan. I'm sure this is really traumatic for you. It's a terrible experience. But if my younger sister could survive a far more horrifying fate, so can I. Susan, I still think you should be a bit more careful with the way you take decisions. I know you have the right to be upset though, but Henry could be really repentant. People do change, you know. Yeah, he's changed. Does that mean he shouldn't be held accountable for what he did? Please, I don't want you to misunderstand what I'm about to tell you. Before this whole episode began, you were in love with Henry. You wanted to marry him. So what happened? Did all those qualities just disappear? You don't love him anymore? Gerald, please, please. For Pete's sake, please. What manner of talk is this? Well. That is just food for thought. If you ladies will excuse me, I want to go for a walk. You know, I don't like the insinuations that Gerald's making. Sometimes I think it's because of the wars and all the experiences it's had. You know, it's just not on the same page sometimes, you know? Anyway, Sue, so I really want you to know that this man is not the right man for you. Trust me. I mean, He's got too much blood on his hands. But I want you to think about it though. Give it a thought, you know. Think about it properly and when you're done, if you really still love him and want to get married to him, you're free to go ahead, really. 
can. me is the fact that you keep comparing me to Pastor Henry. Now here it is. The truth is finally out. What do you have to say? I mean we all now know that he's a murderer, a vicious one at that, a killer. Hey! I've never compared it with anyone. You have. You have. Even though you've not mentioned it, I know that in your heart you have compared me. This man you are seeing here. Stop seeing me like this to do. Tina, begin to see the future in me. When you all will call me Papa. Then you will know. <laughs> you should be thinking. Why don't you start from somewhere? At least start by getting a decent job. Wasn't I working? Wasn't I working in church before you? You, Tina, made them fire me. Was I not working? Me? You are stuck because of your conduct in the church. And you should be very, very grateful to Papa because he's a very forgiving man. Till tomorrow you've not been able and you won't be able to tell them of what happened to the offering money. I told you. This money got missing. God knows. Heaven is my witness. The money got lost. In the church premises? Yes! And how come the next day I caught you in a hotel with a girl? Meanwhile, the previous day you had nothing. Not even a cover. Look, 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 look. Who are we talking about here? Are we talking about Pastor Henry who is a killer? Your friend? We're talking about me. You started it, huh? Okay. I'm ending it. Only God knows what will happen to him now. Why am I even asking? We know. You and I know. First of all, he's going to be excommunicated. I can never forget that look of misery in his eyes. And that of Sister Susan. They were so much in love. Not like some people I know. I don't know what, I don't know, whatever they say he did and uh, all those things, I still think he's a very good person. He's a very good person? Yes. Do you know sometimes, I really have to think about it. I mean, you keep me wondering if you are really born again a spirit field. How can you call a man who has gone around killing hundreds, probably thousands of people a good man? Tina, I think you need your head examined. You need deliverance, you know. I'm going inside the room. All of a sudden, I'm not feeling this discussion again. Please, before you go inside the room, get me something to eat. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Mm. How could you have allowed this kind of thing to happen? What did the Bible say about letting the cause settle out disputes? You all decided to mob him. This is no dispute. You needed to have been there. You needed to have heard all the things Sandra said about him. And indeed, the congregation was upset. And my God, when he got up and she pointed him out, the congregation just went berserk. And you decided to pass judgment on him. Oh, dear Lord. Isn't it? This is no judgment. And how can you say something like this? Robert was not only loved by you, Robert was loved by all who met him when he was sent here to Mission Field. 
the church sent him to Liberia. The same church just felt that for the sake of his memory and for his beautiful children, that we owe it to them to get his killers to justice. To see that I'm disappointed that your choice of words is to put it mild. In fact, an understatement. So you take vengeance? James, you and all who are involved in this solid affair have sinned against that young man. Where, where, where are you going? Of course I have to see to his bed. Okay, Papa. He's saying that the immigration has taken interest in your case. So I've called the church legal counsel to take it from there. Why not it? Ah, Pa, I thank you. I got no man to eat food. I'm fasting. You don't look like you've been eating for some time now. But not to worry. Um, like every other storm in life, this one will come to pass. By the Lord, I asking you, when the storm passes, I won't know if the fact that I the one responsible for the greatest pain I caused my woman gone change. But I'm asking you, I won't know if the fact that I know that everyone ain't like me, I won't know if it's going to change. Pastor Henry, Pastor Henry, what we did to you is abominable. We want you to please forgive us. Pastor Henry, forgive me personally. I was the one. I am responsible for what you're going through. Pardon the Lord, pardon the Lord. I won't know who I am. I won't know me. Like it happening in the movies. Like I'm watching a movie. And I know that the only place in the world I know it can happen. It's not easy. You listen to my song. I think I'm equally responsible. Because after you confess to me, I shall call the elders together to discuss this issue. Come on, this is me. This is only a challenge. A test of your own fate. No, 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 Pa. It's not an issue anymore. Pa, I ain't think Susan can love me anymore. I don't think she can forgive me. Pa, I'm not going to forgive her eye in her shoe. It's not easy. Why is that? You doubt the power of God. Pa, it got nothing to do with God. It got nothing to do with God. This does Caesar do. Pa, I rape her sister. I kill her pa, I kill her mom. That the fact that nothing changes. Did you do that? You all check it. I can't remember her. But Pa, I know I did all the bad, bad things that chuckle my past. So you tell me, Pa, how you think Susan, my woman, going to forgive me for all I did? It's not easy. You are limiting the hands of God. But let me leave it at that. For now, I'm very, very busy. We'll talk later. I want you to hold on. You are getting out of this place latest tomorrow morning. Oh, give yes. God thanks. Let us pray. So that's Gerald. We actually would have come to see you if we knew you were back. 
Um, yeah, but Sue actually went visiting. She would soon be back. Okay. Maybe it's all for the best. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, actually, we need to talk about the situation as it affects Susan. Yeah, I was hoping someone would come up with their suggestion. It's the doing of God, I'm sure. Well, uh, for the sake of our guest, um, I would like to explain my relationship with the family. Her father was my senior brother, the only brother I had. Uh, he was actually the one who led me to Christ. Yes. He was called into the missions. Well, I was called to pastor the church. And the church financed all his missionary trips. I wanted him and her mother. I baptized her with her sister Susan. I would have been the one to pastor her wedding. But for the unfortunate tragic incident. But God willing, I will be overseeing the marriage. Then I think you are the most qualified to mediate. I am. I, in fact, I owe it as a duty to both of them and to God. Yes. Uncle, um, I'm sorry. It's not like I'm um, trying to deprive you of your right to mediate um, in this matter, but I really don't see where this is going to get us because we would leave and put this whole sad episode behind us. Would it actually end it? I mean, in my book, I would call it running away. If running away will bring this matter to an end, then you have been able to put it, the, I mean, the incident over you, behind you long ago. Uncle, I did not run away. I, I, I stayed away. I needed to stay away. For close to seven years, seven good years. And yet you've not been able to come to terms with what happened. Hmm? Now you are encouraging your sister to do the same thing. Tell me, in your decision, have you actually considered her? I mean, Susan. I mean, how she feels. Susan feels the same way I do. Uncle, this man killed our parents for crying out loud. I'm not even talking about me. I'm not talking about what he did to me, but Uncle, for crying out loud. Think about what he did to your brother. Your only brother. Think about the way he was butchered and burnt like a common animal by this man, Uncle. want vengeance, you want to hurt him, the way he has hurt you. You want an eye for an eye. You want your palm of it. I don't want anything from him. No, I don't. Susan can do whatever she wants to do. She's an adult. You know, you and I know that it is not true. You are all that son has left. I should not have the courage to do as she pleases. Because your feeling is the first. Sandra, you are the only one that can settle this situation. Why is this depending on me? Why? Uncle, I am the I'm the victim here. No. Susan and Henry are the victims. You were once a victim, yes. But today, both of them are the victims. If we can only forgive them, Susan will be free. This is not fair. It's not fair. 
Why do you make me feel like I don't even care about my own sister's happiness? Don't I care about my own sister's happiness, Uncle? I did not say that. Now listen to me, Sandra. Are you a believer? <laughs> Uncle, huh? please. Please, this is not about religion. No. All right. Listen to me. Your father was my senior brother. The only brother I had. I have that guilty conscience because I was the one who sent him to Liberia where he was killed with a mother. I feel the pains. I know you are hot. Yeah? But I'm also hot. Please, we must move forward. We must let this incident behind us. Now tell me, what would your mother and father want you to do in this circumstance? Can you tell me? Please, anyhow. I know if you still love me anymore. I beg you, Tina. I beg you, tell me the truth. She's confused. Oh, yes, what? My woman is not supposed to be going to what she's experiencing now. I now know I pay for all the bad bad things I did in the past. My woman is innocent. Everybody is innocent. So nobody yes. is innocent, Pastor Henry, please. Not you, not Sister Susan, not even me. In one word, the other, everyone is guilty of something. Sister and the Lord, it's not easy. That no mass mother, that no rape, that no all the barbarity I did in my past. Everything is equal in the sight of God. I'm not really the right person to advise you now. I don't know what you did, but whatever it is, you did that when you were in the world. You're a changed person now. A born again Christian. I know. I know, sister. I'm the first one to condemn myself for what I did in my past. Yes, what? Now, I'm begging you, Father. I'm begging, yes, what? To let my sin pass by me. It's not easy. Sister and the Lord, I be damned and no better. And I can't do anything now. The woman I love not calling me devil. Susan calling me devil. She didn't say anything like that. She never said anything like that, Pastor Henry. She's hurt. She's confused. But she still loves you. Sister, you telling the truth? You sure? I am very sure. I know, maybe because of my battling with challenges in respect of love, I, I, I see things the way they really are. Sister, I beg you. I 
me your help. You got to help me. I love my woman. I want you to tell her I'm sorry for everything. I love my woman. I love Susan. I die. I die. She still loves you. Mr. Mom, you are free to go. Come and stand for your thing. Elia is buried. Oh, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yes, wow. Oh, my God. And I know you are the true God. I thank you for your delivering me. My God, you be free. My God, I exalt your name. I wait for you outside. Hello? Oh, she said that man is to remain in court study until further notice. We just got a signal from the head, first headquarters. Oh, okay, so. What happened? Oh, God. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened since I've been good? What is the problem? You tell me. I don't understand. Tell me, Susan. Am I the one depriving you of your happiness? Sandy, why do you think that? You're my sister for crying out loud. Uncle was here today and insinuated that I was the one influencing you. In what way? Huh? Well, he says, since I would not forgive that murderer, I influence you not to forgive him also. Why would he think a thing like that? He. He killed our parents and raped you. Do you love him? I... I... Susan, do you still love him? Sandy, I don't know. After all know. he did to us, do you still love him? I don't know. <sighs> Susan, you know... I love you. I love you very much. I mean, you're my sister, but I can never forgive this man. I can never forgive him for all that he's done to us. I can never. Sorry. Don't. I really have thought about it. Place in my heart to forgive him. And I. I don't want to stand in your way. Don't, don't, don't say that. I've thought about it. I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Sandy, don't sorry. do this. Sandy, Sandy, don't do this. You're my only sister. I love you. You know, nothing, 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 could you be so unfeeling? Coco, okay. I don't understand what you're talking about. Did you call Victor today? Victor? Who is Victor? Don't play games with me, young woman. You know who I'm talking about. The Chief Justice of the Federation. Oh, that's Victor. Well, I did call him to find out if there is a way he can help to see that we extradite Pastor Henry back to his country to answer for his crime. Since obviously there is nothing this great country can do about it. I can't believe you are the one doing this. You might be stubborn, strong-headed sometimes, but never vindictive. <laughs> you see? You see, uncle? 
So, Uncle, you're trying to insinuate that I'm the one influencing her, right? I said so before. And I'm saying it again. Oh. This is your handiwork. She has nothing to do with this. Absolutely nothing. Pastor Henry committed a crime against humanity. And it's only fair that he goes back to answer for his crimes. It's, it's unfortunate that he's one of our shining pastors. But the fact remains that he committed a crime. And he has to answer for them. I hate to say this. But if you insist on your course of action, you will live to regret it. Yes. Both of you have come of age. And I can't carry you across my knees to flog common sense into both of you. As for you, Sandra, may God have mercy on you. I'm going. But rest assured that I will fight you every inch of the way. What just happened? Whose, whose side is uncle supposed to be on? You know, sometimes I even wonder if it's family. You see what I keep telling you? <laughs> It always has to be about me. It's always me. Afro TV. Enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afro Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa. Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Aosa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily. We help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.